So then, curious, did you ever receive pushback or, um, yeah, like negative feedback when you decided to chop it all off and decide to do natural and get rid of the creamy crack? <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely, especially when I started transitioning because the line of demarcation bec became more obvious the longer mm -hmm. I transitioned. So people were like wondering, what are you doing? Your hair is looking rough. Aren't you going to relax? And I'm like, no, nope, that's the whole point of me transitioning. I'm, transi I'm transitioning so that I would eventually cut off my um, relaxed hair so that I would have my natural hair. And they're like, no, you're making a mistake. And for them, me having this long hair was actually long. So everybody then like considered me to have long hair. Like, why cutting off your beautiful long hair? It's long and it's beautiful. And for me, it wasn't. Once I learned about the natural hair, the potential of my hair, what it could be, I was like, no, oh, this is damaged hair. This is <laughs> this is nothing. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay, so you said your hair, when it was relaxed, it was like maybe what, shoulder length? Yeah, something? maybe yeah, shoulder length. Uh, not, yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> fairly <laughs> touching. <laughs> and that was considered long. <laughs> that was considered long, and that was considered like, why are you chopping it off? It's not going to grow back. You're making a mistake. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's so crazy because, I mean, you said you're, you're in Germany right now, right? Yeah, I'm in Germany, yes. Yeah. So I'm always, I'm in the States, California. Yeah. Like, but it's kind of the same, it's like the same thing, you know, I, growing up, everyone has a perm, that's kind of what mm -hmm. happens. Um, you know, grandma had a wig or the older one yeah. <laughs> in her family yeah. had wigs. And yeah. like, if you can get your hair like, past your chin it's like oh my yes, god yes, you got long yes, hair, hair yes <laughs> I, I i heard this like i heard from you know my family members or whatever or you know just different and then just different people in the black community in general is like this idea of just like well your hair just gets to a certain point and it can't grow any longer that's it, it. Can, yeah so it that's the, like that's the maximum you can get and it's considered long yeah yeah so um that's that's so interesting it sounds like you are going a bit against the grain now did you get fe more fe negative feedback from the women that you knew men that you knew or was it just very much a combination it was more so the women the <laughs> men were not really like interested they were not like they didn't care <laughs> it was the women <laughs> they were like what are you doing do something about it and <laughs> do it fast <laughs> yes oh my God. So, mm -hmm. Okay, no, that's so, yeah, you know, it's funny because that's something that I'll hear um, a lot when you talk about hair and, and some of the pushback I'll hear from other women who are like, who are vehemently defending their wigs and their weaves is just like, oh, well, men like it this way and I get teased all the time and, but then you talk to men and they're just like, we don't care. What are you talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so it's always a topic of yeah. 